up guys welcome to part 7 of my uh, arma 3 tutorial scripting multiplayer scripting tutorial uh, today the video will be about we will be talking about how to create teleportation objects so last if you remember in the Zeus Ares uh, video uh, I showed you how to like how Zeus can teleport people with air with the Ares mod but now I'm gonna show you so uh, and also yeah I show you with Ares where you could uh, you could put down uh, uh, objects that uh, like teleportation poles where they could uh, they could teleport from place to place uh, but then they never stayed on the map so now I'm gonna show you a permanent way that you can put um, spawn points on your map uh, that's not spawn teleportation points so your uh, your friends or you if you if you if you don't know how to use uh, uh, debug yet how you can simply create these and uh, go from there so basically what we will do is uh, you will um, we will create an object uh, I, I'm gonna use an object here you can use like an invincible ob uh, like a very small object or anything you want in this case I will just use a very um, straightforward object a very um, object you can see in plain sights just to make it obvious so we'll go in empty and usually if I use for pretty much I pretty much use a uh, uh, flagpole uh, flagpole automatically goes so this first flagpole we will f you can call it whatever you want me for tutorial sake I will call it alpha just so it's simple and then after that uh, what you will do this basically uh, first thing you will do is we'll do three spawn points so in this case uh, we will uh, do uh, will the scripting will be for three uh, three sorry teleportation points so in this case the scripting will be for uh, We'll do the scripting for three. So in this case, what you will do in the in the initialization, you would do this. We'll add an action to our players uh, when he gets close to this pole uh, for an option to uh, teleport. Uh, so we will do this add action. So this will add an action to the flagpole. Then you will do um, what is it again? Uh, a box we will uh, I like I like to create the syntax before I get sometimes so in the in this case the first box would be what the name would be of when you get close to the the, the pole what would show up so in this case will be um, teleport Bravo yeah teleport uh, Bravo okay and we can we'll call this um, for the and then the next the next one will be you, to select the SQF file we're gonna create uh, to create that action or make the action work. So what we will do is we'll call um, this one teleport bravo dot sqf. So that's gonna be our title for the um, the text file we're gonna create our in the uh, mission folder. So then you put a semicolon, you stop there, and then we'll since we're gonna create another one, we'll just copy paste this, copy, paste, and instead we'll call it uh, Charlie. Charlie. Change the name here to Charlie. So as you can see, I did not put Alpha in there because you don't want to teleport back to the same pole you're you're, you're teleporting from. Uh, you can like I said you can call them whatever you want uh, I usually when I'm creating when I'm creating the name I just take the where I'm spawning like in let's say I would say uh, downtown lakeside or whatever so it's easy it's easily identify identifiable so then after that we're gonna press OK and then uh, we're gonna go to our scripting file and we'll add the scripting necessary alright so we're I forgot to mention one thing, but I'll do it here. Then we'll edit it before we go in game. Uh, one thing you'll do is, well, since you might have a lot of them, is um, you want to create a folder to keep it clean. So what you're gonna do basically is you're gonna create a folder, and uh, I'm you can call them you know, whatever that folder, whatever you want. So I, I'm just gonna call it teleport, right? To make it obvious, that's that's what it's used for. And you're gonna click in here, and then we will create another file. We a text file to start our all our um uh our thing our, our 
to where we're going to create the, the code, sorry, the tired still. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll create it, we'll, we'll call this, uh, as we named it um, in the other place, uh, in the, the editor, we'll call it here. So teleport um, alpha. Of course, we're going to create one for alpha because we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to be able to spawn an alpha. So, so F. Yes, sir. So we'll create two more to create the Bravo and Charlie. Port. Bravo. SQF. And uh, Charlie. Tell Charlie. SQF. Yes. So basically, we got our three teleportation uh, files for our three points. So basically, um, what you can do is basically, um, sorry, over here. So this is our teleport alpha. So basically, I will just uh, create, I'll just copy paste from uh, another file just to make it a bit go a bit quicker. So basically, you're going to, you're going to write this in this folder right here. This, so this tele, the teleport, uh, this is like a user defined, this teleport uh select zero that means it's this object caller and this is uh, 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 this is i guess to identify where you want it to go or whatever I don't, i'm sorry if i'm explaining this wrong basically the important part is pretty much this one here so you get it get so teleport myself to the to the the requested uh alpha this is where where you name each pole uh the name this is where the name is important because it's going to get get position from this object name All right save and then we just have to do the same thing for, for all the other one we're just going to change the other to bravo and we will go to charlie okay save that and that's pretty good. Also, one thing I, I, I don't really mention half the time is make sure that everything is written exactly the same. Like uh, when you're when you're when one script is directing to an to an object or something, make sure that you identify your object and whatever script you're identifying to that object that your spelling is correct. Because you make a small mistake and you might look for uh, for thirty minutes what the mistake was and you won't find it. Or you if First thing you check for is for spelling mistakes half the time. So anyway, so all right. So we will go back in editor, and I will um, I will edit. Uh, I'll edit so we we start in a folder before, and we'll create our two other polls. All right. So we are back in game. We'll go back in this poll because I uh, I added something uh, different. So we will go here where we select uh, teleport uh, Bravo. We'll, we'll write teleport for the name of our folder and we will uh, backslash right so this is the important part is your backslash here don't put one before because it won't work just make sure before yeah teleport backslash so that's pretty much it so we will copy this um actually this allow And we'll, we'll we'll put this as a precaution just in case somebody crashes into it, so this won't destroy. It. Just to really make sure, it might, probably won't destroy it if I don't put it, but I just put it anyway just for precaution's sake. So we'll copy this, and then we will create another flagpole here. Call this one Bravo. Paste this here. In this case, what you will do is you call this one Alpha. Teleport Alpha. Okay, and we will create another spawn point here. Let's say so. We'll name this one Charlie. Jump. 
So just to, we'll change it. Even if we need Bravo, I'll just change it because uh, I want it to be in our in order. But in this case, Bravo, Bravo. Alpha, there you go. So that should be basically it for the scripting. I'll just double check all my positions. Did I, I actually did put a name to all of them? All right, so we will save that and we'll go in game and check if it works. All right, we're in game so. Here, every, where everybody is, we got our flagpole right here, and as you can see, first thing pops up: teleport Bravo and teleport Charlie. So hopefully, if we did the scripting right, if I press spacebar, it will take me to Bravo. And there you go, did right. We're in Bravo now, right beside. Nice, nice C. And let's just see if our make sure our Charlie works. Oh yeah, and we'll just go back to Alpha just to make sure. Everything works. There you go. Like I said, as you can see, when I spawn in, I spawn inside the pole. Um, like I said before, I, <laughs> why I keep mentioning this every video. I'm not a scripting master, so there is a way where you can tell, like, uh, teleport me, but like a certain, like, certain distance away from the object and the, any tree, 60 degree, 360 degree from it. I've tried co coding it in before, but I've never successful. Well, once again, if you know how to do that, uh, just tell me, and I'll I can make another video about it. And um, that's pretty much it. One thing you want to do, if you have like, like in some of my other projects, I have like seven, eight d different spawn points. So basically, in that case, what I do is I go into a text file, the script, the initial, the scripting I put in initialization of the flagpole. Uh, I go into a text file, create all of them for all seven of them, uh, copy them, and then paste it in the initialization, and then I just remove. The one that I don't need. That basically, if I t if I if I got up to um, uh, hotel or whatever to teleport to hotel, uh, I would take. And if I want to put all that information to Bravo, I would copy paste and just remove the Bravo line, and that should be that's that should be it. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this teleportation. Uh, if someone something is not clear, ask me in the comment below, or if any comments or anything I could add or make it even simpler, just tell me and I will do it. Uh, there's probably like also like I forgot to mention there's probably a scripting where I can put this in one file one uh, in one uh, text file an SQF file to make it work all together but like I said I'm new to scripting so I, I tried and it didn't work so I, I tried it an easier way that worked and I'm, I'm glad with it. it's easier to, it's easier to find it's easier to edit and all those nice little things and if you like the video please hit, hit that like button on the video and uh, please subscribe to the channel really appreciate it if you would do that uh, next video will be how to input a radio command. So instead of going into uh, in instead of going into here to the debug console every time, I'll show you how when you press zero and you go into uh, make a uh, menu pop up for uh, for uh, special commands. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Keep it fresh, guys.